Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I want to answer the question, can you start a blog for free? And flat out from the beginning, I'm going to tell you guys, yes, you can start a website for free if you use Wix, Weebly, I think WordPress, even Squarespace may have free options when it comes to starting a website. But when you do that, you do not have a custom domain or you can have a custom domain, but then it ends with .wordpress.com and that doesn't make you look as professional as possible. So I want to walk you guys through the steps on how I would start a website and the true cost of starting a website. Because in my opinion, yes, you can start a website for free. It is possible, but I would never ever recommend that for you guys. So if you ask me, can I start a website for free? I'm going to tell you no. If you want to be serious with blogging, you cannot start a website for free. And I would never ever recommend you guys that use Wix, Weebly, or one of those other platforms that says that their websites are free because those do not perform as well in terms of SEO and ranking on Google. You definitely want to use WordPress or you can use Squarespace. I personally believe that WordPress is the place to be. That is the website platform that I use. I use wordpress.org with GoDaddy, but I'm going to walk you through two different options when it comes to starting your website, break down the cost for you so you understand what you are getting into before you launch a blog. Now, if you go onto Pinterest, you're going to find a lot of different blogs that tell you that you can start a website for only $3 and most of those blogs will lead you to Bluehost. So that is the first option that I want to show you guys is the cost of really getting started with Bluehost. Now, you need to consider the kind of blog that you want want to own. And when I say that I have a WordPress website, it means that I have a WordPress.org website. And I try to always specify that because there is a difference between a WordPress.com site and a WordPress.org site. So what is the difference? A WordPress.org site means that WordPress is your host and it is also the type of website that you have. So you know Squarespace is a type of website that you have. It's the builder of the website. WordPress is the builder of a website. Now, if you use WordPress.com, it means that they are also your web host compared to if you use wordpress.org it is a self-hosted version of wordpress which means that you can go to bluehost or you can go to godaddy and you can have a separate hosting server now there are a lot of benefits to this you get access to more features if you use wordpress.org and that is the platform that you will see a lot of other people are using when it comes to their website so let's check out bluehost so i'm going to search for bluehost and we will see the cost of starting a website with Bluehost. Now, WordPress.org is free. That is something that I should note from the beginning. WordPress.org is free if you do use platforms such as Bluehost or GoDaddy. So right here on the Bluehost website, you can see that they've got the main kind of call to action at the beginning, which is drawing you in. And it shows you that for only $3.95 a month, it was $7.99, but they're crossed that out and says $3.95 a month. You can get a free domain for the first year. You can get a free SSL certificate, which means that your website will be an HTTPS website. It is a secured version of your website compared to HTTP. You have got one click WordPress install, which comes with all Bluehost hosting. So if you're interested in Bluehost, that comes for free. Don't ever worry about it. And then you got 24 seven support, which is common with any hosting platform. So I'm going to click on this, get started. And I want to show you guys that this $3.95 a month is kind of not real. You know, it depends how long you want to be committed to your blog. And if you are serious about blogging from the beginning, if you are just getting started with blogging and you want to see if it's right for you, then I would recommend that you use the free version of WordPress or if there is a free version of Squarespace. I've never used Squarespace before, but I just know that it is another good platform to use, but I would use one of those getting started. And then if you fall in love with it, invest in your website. But here's the deal. These are the options that are available to you. Now they give this recommendation, this choice, Plus, I would recommend that you just get started with basic. That is what I got started with when I first started my blog. And you can take a look at all these other things that come with it. But honestly, you don't need this unlimited websites. You're only going to need one website. You don't really need unlimited subdomains. If you want to create subdomains, you can create them. But honestly, I don't even want to talk about that in this YouTube video. So I'm going to select the basic option right here. And then you need to enter your domain. So I'm actually just going to click this button at the bottom and I'm going to skip it so that I can create my domain later. 
later so that we can get to the pricing and stuff. So right here, this package information, this is what is actually going to show you the cost of starting your blog. And to get this three and 95 a month, guys, that means that you're signing up for 36 months on Bluehost. That is three years. When I first got started with my blog, I didn't know if I was going to be blogging in the next three years. And I didn't know if I wanted Bluehost as my hosting server for the next three years. So they're saying for three years at 395, you're starting your blog for 142 dollars which isn't bad three years of running your blog that isn't bad at all but you are going to have other expenses like they say that they give you your domain for free your first year every year you're gonna to have to renew that and you are going to have to pay for your domain so for me I just don't think that this is a really practical option but if you click on this it's going to show you the other price ranges so let's say that you only want to do your first 12 months that is $5.95 a month. So when you click on that, you could start your blog for only $71 your first year. And that is what I did when I first started my blog. I paid, actually I paid more than that because I made a mistake when I first started my blog, but $71 to start your blog is a pretty reasonable price to start your blog. And just remember that wordpress.org comes for free. So you can just automatically set it up within Bluehost. It is very, very easy to do. When they say it's one click install, it is actually one click install and it is very easy to do. Now, if we jump GoDaddy and just compare the prices. This is the platform that I am currently using. So I got started with Bluehost and then I ended up switching over to GoDaddy and I want to be completely transparent with you guys and explain why I made that move. So when I was looking to grow my blog, I wanted to make sure that Bluehost was going to provide me with enough traffic or enough space so that I could have a decent amount of traffic on my website. I mean, I wanted hundreds of thousands of people on my website and I didn't want my website to crash. So I looked into getting a more advanced plan with Bluehost. But before I did that, I took a look at the people that I looked up to and other bloggers that were getting a significant amount of traffic. And I looked at what they were using for their website. So since I worked in the digital marketing industry, I've got a few websites a few tools under my belt that I like to use. And one of them is built with. So you can go to built with and you can take a look at how people are building their sites, meaning what is their hosting platform as well as what is their website builder. So are they using Squarespace or are they using WordPress? And this is something that I like to do all the time. And I use this tool and I took a look at two different people I looked up to. One was Melissa Griffin. The other one was XO Sarah. And both of them were using GoDaddy. And I was like, if they're using GoDaddy, I really think that I need to make the move and I need to make the switch to GoDaddy. So I ended up switching to GoDaddy just because I thought that GoDaddy was going to be better when it came to the growth and the future of my blog. GoDaddy is a bit more advanced. They offer more, in my opinion. I really do think that they offer more. So you can take a look at, let's go to, I don't want that. We're gonna click on this web hosting right here and see what they offer in terms of their prices. So for their economy, which is their basic plan when it comes to websites, it is $5.99 a month. And then if you go deluxe or ultimate or maximum, it does of course increase in pricing. Now, I thought that they did have a WordPress option. So let me see if they've got a WordPress. How does this work? Click on WordPress and let's see, WordPress hosting. So if you're curious about WordPress hosting, they do have a basic, which is $6.99. So if you're interested in starting a WordPress website, you can get started with their WordPress basic. Again, that comes with one website. It's got 10 gigabytes of storage, which is good. It says ideal for 25,000 monthly viewers. So this is something that I took a look at when I was trying to grow my blog and I switched plans from Bluehost to GoDaddy. I paid attention to how many monthly viewers I could have on my website without crashing it. So I would recommend that you get started with either basic or deluxe when it comes to a WordPress. But let's say we get started with this basic, which is as low as $6.99 a month. So I'm going to add this to my cart and we're going to take a look at the pricing. So for GoDaddy, one thing that's cool, you can say, I just want to try this out for a month, see if I like it, see if I hate it. And then I'll decide if I want to renew it and continue on with the blogging world. So you can select one month and it is $12.99 a month. So I'm going to select that just so it updates over here. So that is seriously only $12.99 a month. Now you can add different add-ons. I wouldn't even worry about doing this if you're just gonna try it out for one month. If you wanna try it out for 12 months, it is $7.99 a month, 
which if you look over here, that ends up coming with Office 365 email, which is pretty nice to have, especially if you wanna have an email that has at whatever your website is. So I used to have an email that was kath at thecontentbug.com. I ended up changing it because of the transfer process that happened, but that is an option available to you, comes for free, and you could start a blog for $95.88 a year, or you could go to a Bluehost, which was $71.40 a year. But here's the deal, guys. Unless you are a website designer and you know how to develop a website, you may need to pay for someone to develop your website. You may need to hire a website designer and that is going to cost you a decent amount of money. When I got started with my blog, it ended up taking me three months to design my website because I had never designed a WordPress website before. It was brand new to me. I had to learn the ropes and it took me a while. It took me three months. So if you're looking into this one month option on GoDaddy, it really isn't that practical if you want to design the website yourself. If you want to hire a website designer, actually let's go to Upwork and I wanna see how much a website designer costs per hour. So this first person that pops up, Jimmy H, he charges $100 an hour. Now it says he's an SEO consultant, Facebook expert, and then it does say website designer. So that's a website designer, graphic designer, graphic designer. This is another website designer, so only $38 an hour. What if I go to website developer? And let's actually, we're gonna specify WordPress. So this person, WooCommerce certified, so this is a WordPress developer, $75 an hour. $40 an hour, $55 an hour, $66 an hour, $60 an hour. So if you think about it, it's going to take them a decent amount of time to design your website to make sure that all the pages are there that you want to be there, add the images that you send to them, add the content that you send to them, and then launch your website. So let's say, honestly, I have no idea how long it takes for a website designer to design your website, but let's say you were paying someone $60 an hour for six hours. That is $360 that you have to pay in addition to your website hosting to get your website up and running. So if you think about it, if you are investing in starting your website with, let's say GoDaddy, where it was $95 for one year, that's already $100. And then you have to pay almost $400 for a website developer. You're paying about $500 to start your website. Now, again, you can design your website on your own. That's what I did, but it may take you a little bit longer to actually launch your website. So yes, you can start your website for only $100 totally possible. But that is only to start your website. There are going to be other costs that come with running a website. And I am actually launching a YouTube video here soon, going over all of the resources, all of the tools that I have to run my blog, things that I love, I swear by, that I would recommend to you guys. But there are other things that I have paid for, like plugins for my WordPress website. I think I've actually only bought one plugin before, and I think it is $36 a year. Maybe it's somewhere around there. So you have to take that into consideration. Your Pinterest audience automation is huge and will help to grow your blog. So if you want to drive traffic to your blog, I would recommend that you get Pinterest automation and I use Tailwind and that is $140 a year, pretty good chunk of money. And then you can't forget about your email list because any good blogger will tell you that you need to have an email list. And my email list is, I think it's $49 a month or $40 a month at this point. When I got started, it was $29 a month. So there are a lot of expenses that go into running a blog and I don't want you guys to start a blog for fun and think that you can start a blog for free because really it costs a lot. It definitely costs a lot to run a blog and I wouldn't ever recommend that you guys get started on Wix or Weebly because then when you get to the point where you wanna take your blog seriously and you want to move to a different platform, it is going to be so much harder on you and you're honestly going to think that the first few months that you spent on Wix or Weebly was really just a waste of your time. But that is it for this video. I really hope you guys liked it and found it helpful. I just wanted to be honest with you guys and break it down and share exactly how much it costs to start a blog. So I hope this was eye-opening and helpful. If you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. If you guys have any other blogging questions for me or any other content that you would like to see here on my YouTube channel, please let me know in the comment section down below and I will answer your guys' questions or I will create those videos for you guys. But otherwise, I'm out of here. Bye guys.